Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, I'm so excited because we are going to be doing some random dream tours, but this time is going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna be searching for dreams with Halloween-themed island names. So I've asked my mods to give me a list of different names to search in the dream suite, and we're gonna see what we find. We'll see if all of the islands with Halloween-themed names actually have Halloween islands, or are they something completely different? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I'm hoping we find some good stuff. I'm not too optimistic because just because someone names their island something doesn't mean they're actually gonna decorate it with that theme, but we'll see. The first one that I'm gonna start with is probably the most obvious. We're just gonna search for an island with the name Halloween. Okay, okay, oh my goodness. Several different islands with the name Halloween. Wow, okay, there's a lot. How am I gonna choose? I might go, should I just go with the first one? Should I go based on villager? Should we go to multiple? I don't know. Oh, this one has, the island rep on this one is named Casper. You know what? Okay, we're gonna go with the first one first. Oh, spooky girl. Okay, we're gonna go with this one first. It's the first one to come up. Brittany, let's see what is on this island. Okay, so first things first, we do have a jack-o'-lantern themed island flag. So that is a good start. That's a good start to this town being fully Halloween themed. Okay, looks like they don't have too much stuff here at the entrance, but we do have some spooky items here. So we have the beginning of a spooky island. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love this. This little area with the flowers. Okay, they do have more stuff over here. This looks really built up. Over here, we have some of the houses. Let's check out the map really quick before I go any further see what the map looks like. Now they do have Fauna. That's a problem. I do like how Fauna is off by herself. She's been exiled from the rest of the crew. So <laughs> that that's amusing to me. Um, no real, I mean, Rattle is kind of Halloween themed. I could see Shino being Halloween themed. The villagers aren't screaming Halloween to me, but they don't have to. Ooh, I like these with the little bats on them. Cute. Okay, work in progress here with this neighborhood. I like the Halloween path with the pumpkins and the mushrooms. Okay, it seems like this area has some decorations. I like this path too. A very grand entrance to the museum, which looks really nice. These with the pillows, so cute. And then a little coffee shop outside, or maybe some kind of cider. I don't know what they're selling here, but these seem to be the only things that are actually decorated. So I think we should move on to the next island. Okay, so I've decided to search Halloween again, and I do think I'm gonna go with this spooky girl Halloween island, because I mean, they're insinuating that their island is spooky. So let's go there and see what is on this island. So it seems to be a common theme to have a jack-o'-lantern flag if you name your island Halloween. So keep that in mind. If you decide to have a Halloween island, you must have a jack-o'-lantern flag in order to do so. Okay, we're gonna run around here for a minute. Doesn't look like there's too much on this island either, but let me see if I can find anything. All right, so from what I can tell, this island is basically brand new. They don't have all the villagers yet, so not too much so far with the decorating, so we're gonna move on to the next. We haven't had too much luck with searching an island with just the name Halloween, so I'm gonna try something different, and my mods suggested the island name Salem, so we will see if we can find something here. All right, a bunch of islands with the name Salem. Ooh, ooh, okay, we're going with this one. Look at the villagers here. If that doesn't scream spooky, I don't know what does. We're going here. I hope, I want some spooky vibes. 
I feel good about this one. I see trees. I see pumpkins. I'm excited. Nighttime. I'm definitely getting a spooky vibe from this one. Ooh, and a spooky arch. Okay, yes. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's look at the map. Oh my goodness, look at the Skull Lake at the back. Okay, so this is Sky's Island. And I love the villager choices here. Perfect for a spooky island. Let's see if I can make my way to the airport. Oh my, okay, <laughs> what is that? <gasps> what is that? Oh, look at all the custom designs. Are you kidding? The eyeballs? What? Okay. This is amazing. Wait. This is so good. Okay, that is, that's terrifying. I, in the best way. Terrifying in such a good way. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a reference to something? What is that thing? All right, let's go over here. Ooh, fortune teller. Oh, I love this. Look at all the candles. Everything layered here, it looks so good. Oh, this is pretty, look at the cat. Oh, that's the cutest little cat, Stevie. <laughs> Cute. I love the dark black path and these designs, like this one underneath the cauldron here, I feel like I've almost used those before. Same with the stone one. Like I know that I've downloaded them before, but I don't think I've ever successfully used them. And this looks so good. Oh, oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Ooh, I like the muffins on that table right there. I didn't know there were so many black furniture items in the game. <laughs> I never use them. I always go for brown. So this is impressive. This is kind of the vibe. My Halloween Island last year kind of started with this vibe, but then I switched it pretty early on. We switched it. I don't remember why, but we did. Um, but I love this. Pumpkins everywhere. Never enough pumpkins. If you're worried about your island not being full enough and you're decorating for spooky season, just add some more pumpkins. Like, look at all this. Look at all these pumpkins everywhere. It's so good. It's so good. A pumpkin patch over here with the ghosty. <laughs> so good. This island is full too. This is cool. I love when I find an island that's like completely decorated. And I like the mixture. It looks like they're using, is that purple? Purple, orange, and black. Like very traditional Halloween colors in this one, which I like. The mushroom stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that pillow over there with the eyeball. The mummy pillow. That's cute. Lots of good custom designs. So many pumpkins and look at all the mushroom stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, this area is cool. With the moon. That's really cool. I can't believe I found this with just like a random dream. I mean, kind of random. I searched for an island name, but like this looks so good. Props to my mods for the island name suggestion. Because this is a good one. I really... I just want to do spooky content all month. <laughs> I love it right now. I love it. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I love the witch hat back there next to the rocking chair. I mean, 10 out of 10. Love it. Everything is full. There's so much to see. 
I did show the map. So the dream address showed up when I showed the map. I can show it again though. Let me pull up the dream address really quick. There is the dream address. If you want to visit on your own, highly recommend. This island is amazing. If you need some spooky inspiration for your own island, this one is really good. Okay, I'm gonna head back. We're gonna go try to find another spooky island and we'll try a different name this time. So the next one I wanna try is just pumpkin. I think there are so many different versions of pumpkin that you could use, but I don't know if they would fit you know, like pumpkin town or pumpkin whatever. So we're just gonna try pumpkin and see if anyone has this name. Okay, lots of islands with the name pumpkin as well. So far so good on having islands show up. I was a little worried that we wouldn't have any show up. So I'm looking through, okay, wait, this one's intriguing because it has hazel and sprocket, but it doesn't have a bunch of villagers. So I'm worried that it's not going to be too developed. Now this one has Lucky and Kiki and Cherry. And this one is promising. We're gonna go here. I mean, definitely some spooky villagers here. So I have high hopes. I think we may have gotten lucky again with this. Are you kidding me? The Jack flag. And I see the spooky fencing over there. Tons of presents here. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of gifts. I'm not going to pick up the gifts, but they are here if you visit on your own. So let me pull up this map here. Ooh, okay, I like the neighborhood vibe. It seems like this one's gonna be a city island. I feel like this is one of Colin's paths or something similar. So this is Marie's Island. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm excited, yay. <laughs> I'm just so glad to be visiting some fall spooky islands and this has been very successful so far. So I'm really happy. Pumpkin patch. This is adorable with the pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. Is that you? Hi, Marie. I want to come say hello. Come here. Your character is so cute. Trick or treat. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Y'all, I need some hot chocolate. Give me some hot chocolate right this second because I need it. Are you kidding? This is adorable. Oh, I love this island. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? Ooh, a playground. Kind of spooky with the carriage right there. Okay. This is everything. Oh, the little treat basket right there. The gyroids. This looks so good. I love this birthday area by the park. Someone's having their little Halloween birthday. Ugh. So good. I have a fall birthday, so I love that. I never got to have a pool party birthday or anything like that. <laughs> Isn't that so interesting to think about? Like depending on what time of year your birthday is kind of dictates what party you get to have. I don't know why as a kid that never really, I don't know. It never processed in my brain. It was just like, oh, why do some kids get to have this kind of party? Oh, I love this flower field right here. That looks really nice. Perfect fall vibes. I love just the tiny details with the little treat baskets and the pie on the tables. Everyone has their own little yard and they're all decorated so cute for Halloween. Are you kidding? This is like the perfect inspo that I needed because I need to finish my own Halloween island. And I have a bunch of yards and I just keep putting flowers everywhere, but like, these yards are perfect. They have just the right amount of stuff and they all have these cute little stands to go trick or treating. So cute. Okay, what's going on at this house? <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, but I love this. Floating in there. 
<laughs> if I were trick-or-treating though, I think I would probably be avoiding that house. That's a no from me. It's cute, but I wouldn't go there. Oh, I love the Able sisters with the costumes outside. This is just... Oh, I know I keep saying it, but it's perfect. I love this. Oh, I love all the little treats everywhere. <gasps> I want a treat. I want some pumpkin bread. I haven't had any pumpkin bread yet. And I think I need to have some. Pumpkin bread and some hot chocolate. Go get you some and then visit this island because that would be the perfect little treat to have. Oh my gosh, a carnival too? Are you kidding? I will never not be bitter about these items coming out after I already had my carnival. But it's fine. I'll just continue to be bitter about it. All right, I'm thinking for the last island that we do another one of the islands that's named Halloween. Because if it has the name Halloween, I feel like it's the most likely to be spooky, right? Okay, so I need to remember which ones I've already visited, which I think I do remember. And I think the one that's jumping out to me the most is this one because the person's name is Casper. So this is the last one we're going to go to no matter what is on it. I really hope that it's spooky. I cannot tell you how excited I get when I spawn in and I see all of these spooky items. <laughs> it's just so exciting. Okay. Tons of spooky stuff here. Look. Okay. But it is like summertime. So that's interesting. I will say that's interesting. Okay. We have... Wow. Okay. We really have a lot of spooky stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> my brain can't process the amount of spooky stuff on this island. It looks like for the most part, the island is flat and Casper has a neighborhood in the middle of the island. So we're going to definitely check out the neighborhood, but there is a lot of stuff like in this flat space. There are so many spooky items here. Definitely lots of Halloween custom patterns too. Okay, I do love the look of just all of like this section right here. Like all of the stuff just stacked together on top of each other. I really do like it. Something about it is very appealing. It looks like they've kind of sorted all of their spooky stuff together. Carnival, Marshall over here. I don't know. It looks like they're kind of preparing for all of the spooky items that they're going to use. I love just seeing it all stacked like that, though. It's like a display of all of the different items they have. Like, look at all this stuff. Are you kidding me? Look how many spooky carriages they have. Look how many pumpkins in all of the different colorways. I don't know. That's satisfying to see. I think they're definitely in the process of decorating their island for Halloween. But I do like seeing it like this. Okay. This was the last island that we're going to visit. This was so much fun and I feel like it was very successful. I feel like every island had kind of a hint of spookiness, even if it was just one item. I would call that a success. I hope you all enjoyed this random dream tour video done a little bit differently. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you would like for me to do it again. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.